Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do the UK dual vocal sensor effect. This effect is also called the tape stop effect. I'm going to play you this track I've got opened up here, then I'm going to show you how to do the effect. Let's get it. Hi, 16 year old General KD, all of the hoes try billing it, filling it, catching my M's, I'm billing it. The chat chat shit from my bosom telling me, belly me, back I'm ash, I'm boring. Meru bam, my gun cover, my aura, Toda, really with me, that's order. The chat touch me, but that's out of order. Aye. Okay, so that's all I'm going to play for now. The first thing you need to do when trying to do this effect, identify or select a part of the vocal you, you want to censor. So I'm just going to quickly listen through and select a part. Okay, so I'm going to do two sensors here. Okay, I'm going to do one towards the end of a bar and then one in the middle of a bar so that you guys can see how I do it. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom into this section here holding down control and option at the same time. Just this section here. Let's get rid of the mixer. Okay, so now that I've selected the part of the vocal I want to censor, I'm gonna kind of isolate this vocal take. So I'm gonna press command, and then you can see this plus icon comes up, and after I'm just gonna drag this over the bit I want to censor. And then after, after I've done that, I'm gonna click the vocal, just left click, and then after it should bring it up its own um, section here. So then you want to press T and then you want to press A. Well, by pressing A you select the fade tool or you can just select fade tool here. Then you want to go on top, you see the di diagonal line, and then after you just drag it, where it says drag here and just drag it over like that and then right click this highlighted area and press slow down this is going to bring the tape stop effect so once you press slow down you can hear it enough to uh, see how it sounds like i'm born mm -hmm. you can see the effect has taken place and we can also adjust it but for now we're going to mute we're going to mute the hook dubs because the hook dubs is a double take of the lead vocal there so um just for this instance we're going to do that so let's play the track again come mash i'm born mm -hmm. And if you feel like it doesn't really sound that great, and you can see, okay, maybe you can hold left click and adjust the curve just like this. So I'm gonna adjust it here, because I know that I don't want it to completely censor the whole ball part, but I want it to be just about, you can hear a bit of the transience of the vocals, to say the least. So let's play it again. Bakamash on boom. And you can see that sounds all right. And we can also adjust it here as well. So we can just play with other type of curves here. Bakamash on boom. So you can do like that, or if you want more of the vocals to come in place, you can kind of extend it. And so let's kind of experiment with just one that we like. I like that one there, so I want to keep this one here. Okay, so that's one if it's uh, closer to the end of the bar. Uh, let's play that with the beat now and let's see how it sounds like. Okay, so let's say, for example, we wanted to censor another bit. Cool, so I'm going to play it and just identify it for you guys. Say, for example, I wanted to highlight this all right part. So I'm going to go into the vocal itself, press uh, T and go to the pointer mode. I'm going to zoom in a bit more, oh, not that much, just a bit more here. And after I'm going to do the same thing, hold command, highlight. First of all, hold on, I'm going to come off of bar mode because right now I'm in bar mode. I go to smart mode and press con command G to get out of the snap mode so that it can just be free flowing. And then hold command, uh, highlight to that section there, click it. You can see it's done here. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to press T, A. And then after we're going to go into the top here. Oops. Uh, make sure this comes up here like this. And then we're going to just kind of smother it all like this. And then right click, fade. Not fade, slow down. And then this is how it sounds like. That one sounds alright. We can also adjust it. That's sounding alright. Let's kind of go back here. Let's hear it without the beat. Let's sort of the, um, mute the beat. And you can just kind of adjust it and play around with it and see how it sounds like on your vocal. Let's see how it sounds like with just a little bit on it. And they try to touch me, but that's out of order. That's me, yeah. I think I like that. So let's play <laughs> in conjunction with the beat now. And yeah. Aye, 16 year old general KD, all of the hoes try billing it, filling it, catching my M's, I'm billing it. The chat chat shit from my bosom telling me, belly me, back a mash, I'm boom. I'm a real bam, my gun dog, my own. Toda, really with me, that's order. And the chat touch me, but that's out of order. Yeah, so that's essentially how you do the UK Duo Vocal Sensor effect, also known as the tape stop effect in Logic Pro 10. You don't need any external plugins, it's kind of simple and free to do and of course if you have vocal dubs or hook dubs you want to just you can either censor that as well or you can just cut it out 
and in this instance I just muted it for the sake of this video. But this track isn't mixed yet, if you guys want to see a mixing tutorial of this track I'll be doing a mixing tutorial of that as well. And yeah, comment, like, comment and subscribe and comment what you want to see next and if you guys really want more Logic Pro tutorials. And yeah, so that's the video in a nutshell, if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe. Alright, see you next time, peace!